Hi, my name is Bree Valentic, and I'm from the UT Health Science Center, San Antonio, Periodontics Department, Dental Hygiene Division. Today, we'll be talking about building trust. Here are some objectives for you to review, and hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have knowledge on each of these subjects. Communication with your patient is one of the key objectives for building trust. One specific communication technique is to be patient, especially when taking care of the patient's oral health. When you seem to be in a rut with a patient, please take a deep breath and free your mind of distractions. This will help the patient relax by seeing you relax. Approach the patient slowly and straight on. Tell them what you will be doing and explain each procedure you will be doing. One method is to show, tell, and do. Another is to touch the face and touch the lips. This helps the patient realize that you will be in contact with each part of their mouth. Another technique is hand over hand. This gives the caretaker a chance to come in contact with the patient. The caretaker will place the hand over the patient or resident's hand and help guide the oral hygiene activity. This gives the patient confidence. One very important aspect of oral care when building trust is that you would like to have control of the jaw or the tongue. Jaw techniques and control of the jaw consists of smooth movements, holding the mandible, which is the lower part of the jaw, then place your pointer finger on the chin to help open the jaw. When trying to manage someone with a very active tongue or gag reflex, this is something that you can do, which would be to put firm, gentle pressure on the lips, showing the patient that you will be touching the lips. Next, touch the front of the tongue. When you do this, please do not place fingers directly into the mouth or too far back on the tongue. This will cause gagging. Some other tips for controlling an active tongue is to use the jaw control. Place firm pressure on the front half of the tongue. Use the tongue depressor if needed. There are also bite blocks available to help keep the mouth open so that you can manage the tongue. Next, if that doesn't work, just ask the individual to swallow. This does help relax the tongue muscle. So techniques for success. Sometimes it's best to engage the senses. Touch the patient with the toothbrush just so that they know where it's going to be placed. You can also place the toothbrush in the patient's hand and assist them when brushing. If the patient becomes agitated or hostile, refrain from giving them any items that may cause them harm or harm to you. Another technique to build trust is to bond with your patient. Play music from the time era that they come from that they can identify with. Or talk to them about the weather or things that they might be interested in. Their family, their pets, maybe history. Try beginning the task and ask the resident to help finish it. These are all arts of distraction for the patient. When assisting those with dementia, Ask for help to finish the hygiene task if the patient is uncooperative. One provider can start the task and another can finish. Ask a nurse or another caregiver to assist in completing the oral hygiene tasks. If the resident or patient refuses oral hygiene, try again at a different time. Sometimes they're just not ready. Document what you tried and what worked and what didn't. This can help in the future. Another aspect for building trust is to acknowledge and identify issues that your patient may be having. Some patients have severe anxiety. Signs of anxiety include nervousness, feeling powerless, having sense of impending danger. Sometimes they have increased heart rate, breathing rapidly. They can sweat. They may have trouble concentrating, focusing on preventing that threat from happening. All of these can complicate an oral task. 
Thank you for watching this video. We hope that this was educational and that you will be able to build the trust with your patients.